Hello Aries, welcome. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all well wherever you are. But this is your reading for the 4th through to the 10th of July 2022 or thereabouts. It could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, and as always um, Aries, it is a general reading. It won't resonate with everybody but it will with some. So take what resonates with you. All right. Let's get into your reading now. Let's get some overall energies. So what do we have for Aries, please? What's important for Aries to consider at this time? What does Aries need to consider at this time, please? Alright Aries, first of all we've got toil and labour. Alright, so this is hard work. This is really hard work. You know, when it's difficult to take a breath, when it's... Um, it's never ending and it, it it's heavy. It's a heavy energy this is. Uh, it'll mean something different for all of you, but this is real, real hard work. Um, day in, day out type, type work. All right, and number 26, great fortune. All right, so clearly for somebody, this hard work is, is going to reap its rewards or is reaping its rewards. A great fortune coming in here. Right, let's see what the tarot the tarot messages are for you and see where it all it all connects in for you, Aries. Alright, what do we have for Aries, please? Fourth to the tenth of july twenty twenty two. What are the important messages for Aries at this time? Important messages for Aries at this time. I'll go again. Not happy with that cut. I'll try again. Okay. Right, we have the heart of your reading, Aries, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward, and then something else that your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, okay, we have the Seven of Cups. Um, and this is when there are perceived opportunities. Um, lots of options, lots of opportunities, but most of them are a mirage, they're not real. Um, you can't grasp them. There is something here, there is something that you can grasp that is real, but where your sights are, where your preoccupation is, is with that which is not tangible, which you can't grasp. And, and you're not seeing that which is available. So could we clarify all the cards on the table, please, for Aries? Clarify the cards on the table for Aries, please. Right, at the bottom of the deck we have Major Arcana, this is the High Priestess. Um, right, so this is, there's some secrets around here, there's something that you need to find out. So you've got to, this is about tapping into your higher self, into your intuition. You know, listen to what your gut instincts and your intuition are telling you. 
um, tapping into the higher energies for more information. Okay. All right, Aries. At the heart of your reading, we have a major arcana. We have the death energy here, death and rebirth, transformation energy, um, Capricorn. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is right at the heart of your reading, Aries. There's something has come to an end. Something has come to an end. Um, and it's and it's transforming. It's changing. It's it's changing everything. All right. Um, but the clarify the Four of Pentacles. This is keeping something hidden from others. Um, keeping something close to your chest. Perhaps a need to protect what you have. All right. Um, so whatever it is that has come to an end, um, somebody's keeping it quiet, not not revealing what what it is that's come to an end, or what it is that has come to an end but is changing. All right. Um, at the root of this, we have the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Um, so at the root of this situation, um, the Queen of Swords is very much uh, about logic, being pragmatic, getting to the bottom of things, getting to the truth of a matter, um, keeping your emotions out of the situation. Um, so this is either an aspect of yourself, Aries, that you've you've had to adopt the Queen of Swords energy with a situation, um, or this is somebody somebody connected to you, somebody around um, who who thinks logically, pragmatically. But it's really about you know, it's, the Queen of Swords is the truth seeker, um, and it's to do with somebody being very sneaky. Somebody taking what doesn't belong to them, being somewhere they shouldn't be, being very furtive, you know. So I feel this is quite likely to be yourself, Aries, you know, trying to get to the bottom of something. I also, the Queen of Swords doesn't, doesn't take prisoners because she doesn't suffer fools gladly. Um, it doesn't mean to say she's a bad queen. She's not. She's a she's a good queen, but she's very much to do with what's right and what's wrong. And there's clearly an energy here of somebody mm, up to no good, really. So past influences, we have the Five of Cups and the Empress. Um, okay. The Five of Cups. Again, this is about being preoccupied with what's gone, something that's gone, something you feel a sense of loss about, and uh, that you can't get it back, you can't retrieve it. And it, it's a sense of, it's a bit of a grief, a grieving energy here. Um, but the message of the Five of Cups is all is not lost. If there's two cups here that are waiting for you to turn round and, and, and able to uh, grasp but you're preoccupied with the sense of loss of something that's gone. And it's to do with an empress energy. And now the empress is very much about abundance, fertility, growth, expansion, new beginnings, new opportunities. But there's something here about the empress um, that you or somebody connected to you has, has got a sense of loss, feels... feels um, that what the Empress represents, you've lost, you've lost. But all is not lost. You know, there's still, there's still something for you to um, grasp. There's something waiting for you there. So all is not lost. So they're the past energies, Aries. But there's some there's something has ended. Something has ended. Um, 
and somebody's keeping it hidden. Right. What's on your mind at the moment? What you're thinking about, Aries, is the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment, you know, celebrating, wishes coming true. So something that's been, been really productive for you, that's, you know, what you've been wishing for. Uh, and it's to do with um, the Ace of Pentacles, it's to do with discovering treasure, metaphorically speaking. After having worked very hard, doing a lot of digging, you've uncovered something very special um, that's promising some form of abundance and expansion and productivity. So it's a wish fulfillment, something you've been wanting and hoping for. And that's what's on your mind. Going forward, we have two major arcanas here, Aries. We have the Sun, which is a Leo energy, and we have the Death again. So we've got the Death, let's come out twice here. So it's at the heart of your reading. So this is a significant reading for somebody. It won't be for everybody, but it is for somebody. Um, and we've got the Death of the Clarifier here. So the sun, I mean, the sun in its purest sense represents <clears throat> new beginnings, you know, joy, happiness, good times, um, new opportunities, rebirth. Um, but the sun also sheds light on situations. Clarified by the death, so this death and, and, and transformation energy, the sun is bringing in this death and transformation energy. I feel we could be seeing here that the sun is shedding light on what it is that's come to an end and how it is now sort of transforming. I feel that's what, what this is saying. Because light is being shed on what has ended and that's needed because at the heart of your reading connected to the death card here was the four of pentacles which is something being hidden being kept away from you all right but light and it's to do with something that's ended light is going to be shed on this on this ending going forward you're going to get the information that you are seeking here So what is it your guides would like to say to you? Well, we have the High Priest, which is a major arcana, and uh, we have the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> so the High Priest, which is the, the Hierophant in Ordinary Tarot, so your guides want to say to you that this is a higher level commitment. This is a godlike energy here. And this is about a strong commitment, having faith, keeping faith, um, and it's to do with a new beginning that's important for your heart centre, a new emotional beginning. It could be, could be talking about a new love here um, or a deepening of a, of a current love. But it's keeping the faith, keeping, com this, keeping committed to what this um, new opportunity for love or for what's important for your emotions um, is concerning. It could be something different for all of you. But whatever this love is, there's, this, it's, uh, there's a, a, a real strong high-level commitment here. It could be that somebody is offering their love and offering their commitment to you. If it's not somebody else, then this could be yourself. Um, offering um, a commitment, a strong commitment to a new love or a deepening of a current love. But of course, after a lot of hard work and a great fortune coming in, we can see that's what's on your mind. You know, what you're thinking about, the Nine of Cups and, and the Ace of Pentacles uncovering treasure. 
metaphorically speaking. All right, I'm just going to get two final messages. Could we have two final messages for Aries, please, to conclude this reading? Two final messages for Aries to conclude this reading, please. Aries we have passion and pleasure so savour your life and wandering path enjoy the journey <laughs> all right so passion and pleasure there we are dance around the campfire uh, bang your tambourine by the light of the full moon which the full moon represents endings and new beginnings um, and there's the caravan waiting to take you off on your new adventure so you know savour your life enjoy life Aries um, and there you are, at the beginning of your new journey. It's a wandering path, so get your compass out, get your map out, and get ready for a new journey, a new adventure. And enjoy it. Enjoy the journey, Aries. Lovely. All right, this reading won't be for everybody, as you know, but it, it is for somebody, and whoever it's for, I hope you can recognise your journey, your story here and that the reading has had some meaning for you. But good luck going forward, Aries. And until next time, bye-bye for now.